Good morning. So we've woken up in Bulgaria. We had an okay night's sleep, a little bit noisy going to bed, a few kids in the car park, but that's what happens when you uh, sleep while camping car parks. So we're parked up. What's funny is the casino behind us is called the Grand Corona Casino. Yeah, say no more. Okay, so the plan this morning is we're gonna go back to Turkey. We've got the border crossing to do again and uh, we'll see how smoothly that goes. It's about half seven in the morning. We thought we'd get up early and uh, try and avoid that big queue. Although it seems like most of the traffic is everybody that's been on holiday or visiting family in Turkey is now going home. In for another fun field travel day. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. And I want to say a massive thank you to A Plan Insurance Thatcham. The link is in the description below. Um, they sponsored our van insurance for Europe. Um, when we were in Europe and we called them because it has expired and said, look, you know, with Corona, we might be forced back into Europe. They said, don't worry, they've renewed it for us. So that's super cool that we were able to come into Bulgaria and go back into Turkey without worrying about the insurance. And it's good peace of mind that we know that if we needed to get back home, the insurance is already covered. Passing the big queue of lorries, which means the border is just around the corner. Yesterday when we crossed the Bulgarian border, the inspection officer looked at us, looked at the van and went, what is this circus? <laughs> <laughs> which Marianne finds most entertaining. It's hilarious. So we're just coming onto the Turkey side and it's good, they've got a little station. So they asked us how many people, whether we have anybody else in the back, um, because they have a gun by the side of the road that checks your, your temperature. And they had masks they had on. Mask on. It's, it's the, the first, first time. time. It's reassuring, isn't it? Because we're in the middle of a world pandemic and... When we came up the other way, we didn't see any masks or any precautions. So going in fact, back in. When the man searched the van without a mask on, Chris pulled me back because the man. He came it, so he, close. He was literally stood trying to stand right next to me. Hello. 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 Hello a pack of masks and some hand wipes and they're giving that to every car that is super isn't that great that's brilliant and he said gift for you gift for you i love turkey <laughs> welcome home welcome home <laughs> Bye. sorry d3 office d3 office it's on the right. Okay, okay. Tesla. Tesla insurance office. Oh, we've got insurance. We've got insurance. Oh, maybe they don't know. So we think they're just making us buy insurance, but we've already got it. So we've come into a hangar and uh, we've been waiting for about 10 minutes and nobody's come. So Marianne's just gone off to uh, see uh, what they want us to do, whether anybody's coming to check the van. Woo! So. Probably about 40 minutes later, we've, they've checked all our paperwork, which is They're a bit of a palaver. They're very thorough. And they've sent us back, but we're not really sure back to where. He said 100, turn right. He said back to 100, but you're going the wrong way out the thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull over here. Okay, we went back. They said, you're good to go, so we're going. Welcome to Turkey. Woo! We're home. <laughs> well that is the end of a very crazy episode so they have a big they have a big area um for corona testing a massive area 
but nobody asked to see our results, so we are a little bit confused. Uh, okay, go. We're clear. So yeah, that's very confusing. I don't understand. Some people, maybe they need it for their jobs or for something, or... So it's interesting, isn't it? We, uh, we, we thought we needed a COVID test because our friends crossed the border a couple of weeks ago and they were asked for one uh, and told by the police before they went into Bulgaria to get one on the same crossing. Now we, um, we weren't asked, but this is what happens when you travel in a world pandemic, the information and uh, what they require changes by the day. Um, no regrets getting the test done. It shows that we're being responsible. We're not spreading it crossing borders back into Europe. Um, and hey, it's one of those one of those experiences, isn't it? Um, but uh, for us, the risk of possibly getting quarantined for two weeks, um, we didn't want. So we're pleased that we did the test. And anyway, now we are free to go and spend more time exploring wonderful Turkey. Oh, we've had a thought. We were just talking to our friends um, who advised us about the COVID test and she was saying that maybe it's all done electronically because when we were having our COVID test, they asked us for our flight tickets and our passports and we explained that we were driving so she asked us for our passport number and our um all our information our vehicle and our turkish id numbers so maybe it's all done electronically because we can't think of any other reasons so we we're no none the wiser <laughs> we don't know any more but maybe that is that is something i don't know we have woken up in istanbul uh, after our crazy uh, week last week, rushing over to the Bulgarian border and getting our passport stamped. But we know that we are okay for another six months here uh, in Turkey. The plan is that we are going to continue our adventure to the far northeast corner towards the town of Rize up in the mountains. But first, we have a little bit of a problem to sort out yes another one so yesterday i was using the sink and the tap switch has broken so we can't actually turn it off other than from the main pump so this morning uh, before we leave istanbul we've uh, managed to get in contact with um, adria here in istanbul and we're going to go and head to see them they've said that they'll uh, try and fix it or see if they can replace it for us uh, because we need a tap that works. So uh, off to the other side of Istanbul, it's about an hour and a half drive from uh, where we're parked. Luckily it's still on the Asian side which is where we are. going down the back roads of Istanbul it does feel like we've uh, taken a bit of a wrong turn maybe but the expression around the house is to mind but we're following the sat nav so we should be nearly there okay. yeah I can see an Adria sign Merhaba thank you very much thank you very much I think the switch it, it, it basically um that uh, when i i think i think it's broken oh yes. yeah switch so that's good so kai has looked at the tap and he's all hopeful that he's going to be able to fix it uh we came to adria because actually those of you that don't know trudy adria originally did the fit out of trudy many years ago in fact there's still a little bit of evidence here on the side so we're super lucky that that actually broke whilst we're in Istanbul and near um, the Adria. We're only an hour away from them, so that's yeah. great. We can get that fixed before we hit the road again. The sink's out! <laughs> oh. That's amazing. There's a man that knows what he's doing. There's a man, <laughs> There's a man in my well, kitchen. So the sink is out. We're either going to repair the tap or put a new one in. 
What are you two doing? Okay. So <laughs> There's a lot of laughing. So he told us we have to keep the vent for the fridge clean. Is it, is it good? <laughs> well, yes, absolutely. It's so it's good. It's really bad. It's really clean. Really clean. Oh, it's shining. Turkish sarcasm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's done. Good job. Yes. We found water. Ooh, Ooh we struck gold. <laughs> <laughs> the tap is alive. Yeah. Teşekkürler. We found in Turkey, whatever the problem is, whatever the drama is, whenever something goes wrong, there is always someone around to help. And we have found Kaya. <laughs> Hanging out with Chris by the van. Um, so we've managed to resolve our tap issue. They've put in a whole new unit. Murat's been working hard. Kaya's also helped us with um, checking and inspecting the back of our fridge. <laughs> Apparently it was very dirty so they've cleaned that out for us as well. Clean it's alright now, yes, it's beautiful. Yes. It's superb and uh, he's been keeping me entertained. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Good Good. 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 Bye bye. Good. Bye bye. Well that was super successful and uh, we're so pleased we got the tap fixed. We are now going to head east towards Rize. Um, it's about uh, probably a 14, 15 hour drive all the way across to the eastern side of Turkey. So we're just going to drive for a few hours. Um, it's lunchtime now, early afternoon, and we'll see where we end up. So we've found this little park up about an hour um, from Istanbul on the outskirts. We've just come out of the city and uh, the main road sort of runs along here uh, leading out and uh, east. So we're going to park up here from the, for the night and then tomorrow we're heading east on the way to Rize. So we just parked up here, we've been parked up for about an hour and uh, we're next to a park, like a national park. And uh, the park ranger just came out and he, he was like parking, he used Google Translate and he said there's a free uh, area for camper vans. With showers. With showers, literally like a hundred yards down the road. So we're gonna go and have a look. That sounds, uh, sounds perfect for us. Huh? Ah. Oh, there's a special place here. Camping area, look. Yeah. Marion's just gone with the passports to the warden. You alright? Yeah. This area is in a secure parking area, and apparently, it's got water electric showers and everything for free for 24 hours so marianne's just going to go and have a little look and see and see what's around should i take them around should i, go I think you should out? go and have a little quick guided tour Let's see where we see where we're Apparently staying free showers free showers there you go let's go and have a look this is great it's got a shower block men and women i assume they're the same there's normal toilet squatting toilet and a shower and it's all free it's got sinks here with soap and mirrors and then outside there's like a whole camping area you can just see the sun coming through the trees lots of tents here and then here there's like a big parking area here with um big bins tables for people picnic tables and then we'll go and see i think there's a charging point right next to trudy and then Trudy's just here and then right next to the area where we're parked there's um, free electric. How 
generous and amazing is that? What a lovely, lovely, generous gift of normal, epic Turkish proportion. So Trudy's in the trees and with a little bit of sunset behind. It's beautiful, how lucky is that? Right, we're leaving our little parking spot. We have put in, uh, in the, in the sat-nav, and Mazra, which is a town halfway between here and Rize. I've got my next video uploading on my lap. So I've got the work done this morning. It's about lunchtime, it's about half 12. We need to get the gate open. We need to does ask he, the man, yeah. I'll does go he do it or do you just horn or does he yeah, see? He's a clicker, I think. He's got eagle eyes from up there because he saw us leaving and he's opened the gate. How cool. the last couple of videos we've received quite a few comments from you guys asking why don't I do the driving I can drive and I do have a driving license but I do all the filming and loads of cameras and the navigation and Marianne is a superb driver aren't you love thank you very much <laughs> So, so yeah, we have um, different skills. Marianne is a very cool, calm driver and uh, we share the workload. I'm more than happy for Marianne to do the driving, for me to do the filming. In fact, if we didn't do it that way round, we wouldn't really get very far and we'd have no videos. Um, but here's the question. If I was doing all the driving, would all you guys ask, why isn't Marianne doing the driving? And if the answer is no, have a little think about that one. So the route all the way east along the uh, Black Sea, northern region of Turkey, there's a mountain range that literally runs uh, the whole length of the country and we're going to be following the mountain range all the way along to Rize, which is the tea growing region which we're super excited about and uh, it just looks absolutely beautiful. We can't wait to uh, get exploring some of these mountains. just come over a hill and the view is amazing Found this little car park in a town on the way next to a sports field. We seem to always end up in a sports centre. <laughs> That's all right. I think it's all right. We'll park here for the night and then we'll uh, we'll leave in the morning. It's fine, isn't it? There's a little looks football, lovely little football pitch and it's really flat, which is nice. Exactly. Right. After what time is it? Half five, five, six hours drive. I think we've done today. We did well. I think we can stop for the night. Although we need to put the subtitles on the video. We do. So I can do We'll that. do work for a little bit and then, uh, so we'll see you all tomorrow. So this morning we have woken up in the town of Osmanjik and uh, we spent the night sleeping next to this little football pitch. It was a really good night's sleep to be fair. There is the castle, the town's castle uh, on top of the cliff there it was a good pit stop uh, we're literally just a mile off the main road uh, just on the other side of the town and today we are heading um, further east 
to the town of Amazia. It's a beautiful day. Oh, hello. Marianne's woken up. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you're still there. That's it, it's the end of the show. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more of our adventures, then make sure you click the subscribe button below and the bell notification so you don't miss a video. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.